Hello, my name is Conrad, and I'm going to teach you how you can do hydrological hydrological analyses in ArcGIS. So this will give you some background on using spatial elevation data to do hydro, hydro, hydrological analyses uh, on watersheds and on streams. Uh, and also, I will give you a lot of skills in using ArcGIS uh, for geospatial analysis in general. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're able to learn uh, a lot of new things from these videos. In this video series, we'll be using ArcGIS to do hydrological analyses. Uh, this will involve downloading a digital elevation model, or DEM, that's publicly available, and using that model to calculate flow directions, a flow accumulation raster, a drainage network, catchment areas, um, a watershed boundary, and calculate stream orders on our drainage network. Uh, we're going to start off before getting into ArcMap by downloading the digital elevation model or DEM. We can do this, we'll go to the internet. Um, we wanna to go to the geospatial data gateway. And uh, you can see here we have this USDA NRCS geospatial data gateway. That's the website we want. And we can click get data here. And, oh, I didn't click it well. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got to click it. And we can order our data here with the screen button at the top. Um, this is going to help us. This is, we're going to select where we order data for. Uh, I want to select an interactive map. And I'm going to zoom into an area in Northern Utah I'm familiar with, and I'll use that as my study area. Uh, you can use this same study area or select a study area of your own. So there's an area just up here in Logan Canyon. And you see this, this is Spawn Creek. I'm going to use Spawn Creek as, as kind of my example area. And what I want to do is zoom out to a level here about like this. And I want to select an area that's going to encompass um, the entire area that Spawn Creek drains. And so I might be a, a little generous in this area select, uh, the select area tool. And I'm going to start up about here and select uh, about that area there. And that will be close enough. Okay, and then I'm going to click Accept Area down here on the bottom. And now it shows me all the data that's available for this area. And what I want is this elevation data. And I have this national elevation data set uh, 10 meter. And that's what I want to, to get. You can use 30 meter also. We'll use the 10 meter. It's a little more detailed. And once I have that, I can scroll to the bottom, uh, click continue, click continue again, and click continue. And this will email me a link uh, to, to get my, my data. Okay, so now this, this has been sent. Um, and I will go check my Gmail. So this is a data set. I ordered the same data set earlier. Um, it takes a few minutes to send. What you'll do is you'll click this link here, here and you'll be able to download a zip file. Um, and that zip file will have your data inside of it. So I already have that ready. And uh, we can close the internet now and I'll go through these steps of, of opening that data with you. So here I have downloaded it in my inputs file folder. I'm going to right click, I'm going to use 7-zip, uh, and I'll extract the files. Try this location, and there we go. I have this elevation folder uh, with the variety of files in it. Let's open those files in ArcMap to see what we have. Um, I like to use the catalog tab over here. Uh, folder connections, see temp. And then in my inputs, elevation, elevation, slide this out a little. And you can see I have these, these four rasters here. So let's add those in one at a time. This may take just a few minutes to get everything loaded. And one more here. 
pull the table of contents out and we'll zoom to the full extent of the data. Okay. And so you can see that, that I have these data loaded up here. Spawn Creek is this Creek right down in this area. Um, so you can see that I, I've loaded more data than I need, but, but that's okay. Um, so we have, we now have our, our data loaded into ArcMap. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here and in the next video, we'll start working on, on how to stitch these rasters together and throw in some of the analysis.